too extroverted for my own good? That's the question I'm gonna answer, you know, now. I just, I just recently, I'm on, back on break, and I just recently thought about this. I was actually just texting one of my friends, just talking, like, uh, sometimes I get in these weird moods where, like, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm really bored, but, like, TV doesn't appease that. Playing video games. I feel like I should read, but if I try to read, it won't, it won't help me. I even think about, like, going outside, going on a walk, driving somewhere. But I'm like, uh, no, that's not going to help me at all. Like, uh, what is this? And I'm like, hmm. Am I too extroverted for my own good? Like, do I need to be constantly with people to be happy, to be, <clears throat> to be just satisfied and like have energy? Like, uh, extroversion. What is extroversion? I, I went all like philosophy. I pondered. I was in the thinking man. I was you know kneeling. No, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> like, what is extroversion? And like a lot of people think extroversion is just talking a lot, like can be in the center of attention, just wanting to be in a huge crowd all the time, and within that crowd you usually have a lot of attention on them. And yes, that's a lot of those. I am very talkative, you know. I do like to be. I do like attention, but uh, that's definitely not what extroversion is. That's just me, who I am. I know a lot of really talkative introversion introverts and I know a lot of extroverts that don't like that stuff um, you know extrovert when it comes down to it it's really just like you really thrive off social attention you know like it energizes them like if you're extrovert being in that crowd being with people energizes you it brings out your best qualities and like it just bolsters your stamina and it allows for like extemporaneous thinking and productivity to the max. Like, you wouldn't even believe it. Like, when you're with people and you're extroverted, you're just on fire. Like, you're, you're just having the time. When you're by yourself and you're extrovert, that's okay. Like, you still have that time. But, like, for elongated times, if you're not with a lot of people, you can really begin to drain. And I can definitely attest to that. Especially like while I'm breaking you know, up college, I have a lot of, a lot of friends back at uh, Franciscan University, and when I'm with them, it's just awesome. Like obviously, I need time alone. I take those breaks from them at school. It's easy, and w when I'm ready to re-energize with people, boom, easy. When I'm on break, ah, not so easy. I'll come home, have alone time during the day. Usually, I'm usually by myself at the house whole family's gone. When they come back, it's good to spend time with them. But to an extent, family doesn't fully, like, give me what I need. You know, I need I need people my own age. No offense. Um, I need people my own age. Same, similar paths we're on, you know, to push me in holiness and stuff. And not even just holiness, push me in my life and, like, to build off of, like, we need each other, building blocks, you know, which is you need people and like it's like do I need people too much do I know how to be alone that's um you know just think about in Joshua 1 9 it says do not fear nor be dismayed for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go and that's something that we need to figure out what it means to us what does it mean that the Lord our God is with us wherever we go like, wherever we is do not fear nor be dismayed like, do not be dismayed don't worry i'm with you that's what he's saying he's saying that to us and joshua's trying to tell us that we just have to listen you know it's like i could be i can be in a vast abyss of nothing totally white everywhere just look left look right nothing i don't even know why it would be there because it's an abyss i don't know what abyss is honestly <laughs> And I would still have three things. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And those three things, those three things are everything. So even when I have nothing, nothing, I have everything. And if we, if we take that to heart, if we think about that, 
and I'm every day, like, I'll never get in these weird moods because, like, okay, I need people, I need attention, blah, 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 I need whatever, I need to energize, go to the Lord, like, He is there, like, I have people surrounding me everywhere, like, He gives us these people, even, even if we don't feel like we need to go to Him directly, even if we don't remember to go to Him directly, He's like, I laid out these certain people in your life that will lead you to me, that will give you comfort, like, Mama Mary in the Rosary. St. Michael the Archangel, like, I gotta do it, like, this, sorry, that, that's, that's my driver's license, like, Jesus Christ himself, like, oh, you're lonely? Jesus Christ, you know, <laughs> duh, like, disciple of the word, like, what? Like, go to him, like, if I've ever worried about, like, where I am, why I am there, like, if I need anything, I can ju just remember my identity as a son of God, like, as a Catholic. I am a Catholic. How can you be lonely when you're Catholic? Like, cat Catholic is one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Like, it's universal. It it's impossible to be lonely. And that's beautiful. I just stumbled upon this, it's this uh, certificate of excellence I got last year serving on Net Ministries, and the award is for becoming a true man of God. It says, Whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. That's 2 Corinthians 5.17. Fully embracing his identity in Christ, Nick took great strides to fully become the man of God intended to him to be this year. Living in freedom as a son of God allowed Nick to pursue holiness with a great fervor that inspired those around him to fully embrace their own identities in the Lord. Like, whenever I'm lonely, go to Jesus Christ. Like, embrace that identity. And then you'll be able to live in freedom as a son of God. So, like, am I extroverted? Am I too extroverted for my own good? No. I am extroverted, but not too much. Like, that's who God made me to be. And extroversion, at, it, at its deepest roots, is needing people. And I, I do need people. I need the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. You can still see me, can't you? Oh, this is awkward. <laughs>